Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And our shop is open at this time by appointment only. So please get a pencil and paper ready. We're going to show you our email address in a minute. This morning's video is another edition of Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursday, where we pull items out of the shop for storage. And we put them on a table outside this room, and everything will be sold for one half the price that's marked on it. So if you're ready, we're going to show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And the email address is the letter K C A R L I S L. At A T T dot N E T. And there is no E on the end of Carlisle on that email address. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have 18 cases and 9 tables, chock full of Heise glassware. We do buy Heise, one piece or an entire collection. So if you know someone that has any Heise for sale, please have them get in contact with us and maybe we can buy it. For this morning's video, we can combine several weeks of videos so we're not sending you maybe a box with just a salt cellar in it. We can put several pieces in that box before you ship it. we ship it to you. So if you're ready, Sarah and I are going to back out of this room and we're going to give you a preview of what is on the table this Welcome once again to a new edition of Half Price Thursday. We're going to give you a quick little preview of what's on the table this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. Just remember that calls and texts do come in quicker than emails do. Give you a quick little preview of what's on the table, then I'm going to come back. So I've got three shows I want to promote that's coming up in June. There we go. First show, we have the Fostoria show. It's going to be June 9th, 10th, and 11th. On Friday night, you can get in for $20 a piece admission, or you can get in for $10 a piece admission, but it's only good for Friday night. Then you have to pay again on Saturday and again on Sunday if you want to come back. If you have any questions, you can see right there at the bottom, you can contact Chuck Hill. There's his phone number, and you've got the museum's phone number. Next, we've got a Heise show in Newark, Ohio. It is going to be on Friday, June the 16th, and Saturday, June the 17th. Friday, it's 1 to 7. Saturday, it's 10 to 7. I'm sorry, 10 to 2, and it's free admission. And it's at the Union Hall right there on the north side of Newark, Ohio. And in a minute, I'm going to show you, every week, I'm going to just show you one piece of glass between now and uh, June of an item that we are going to be taking to that show. It will not be sold before that show. We won't tell you how much it is. If you want to see this piece, you have to come to the show. I'll show you that piece in just a minute. Next, we have the Cambridge Show. It is coming up. It is actually two shows in one weekend. Friday night is the Cambridge Convention Show. And then Saturday is the Glass Dash. Both of these are great events. The shows are always sold out at dealers. Entry on Friday night is for everybody, including the public. It's $5 per person. And then on the Glass Dash on Saturday morning, if you want in an hour early when the dealers actually sit glass up on the table, it is just $10 per person, and it's a wild time to buy glass. Now I'm going to show you a piece of glass that we're actually going to take to the Heise uh, show this year. And this is a piece of octagon. It's a two-handled variety tray. The color is Moongleam, and the carving on it is called Nimrod. Very rare piece. If you want to see this piece, it is going to be for sale at the convention. We will not sell it before then. So if you be the first one in the door, you're going to have the first opportunity. Now we're going to get started right back here on the back table. Very first item we have, we have a round colonial basket. It has a cutting on it. I didn't look it up, but that is actually a high Z production cutting. Has, I think, one little bit of rough spot there on the bottom. This is a large size. They made the Colonial in two sizes. They made it in a seven and an eight inch size. This is the eight inch size. Even though it measures 14 and a half inches, they measured across the handle. That's how they know this is an eight inch basket. So the seven inch basket would be seven inches across. This one's eight inches across. Nice piece here. Hard to find decoration on, $125. And when I say it's $125, this is half price Thursday. So that piece is gonna be $62.50 after the discount. Next, we have a double ribbon panel cruet, original stopper, perfectly clean on the inside. Anytime we get a cruet that's cloudy on the inside, we clean it before we set it out so it's in good shape, $45. Colonial, one pint pitcher. This is a little bitty size, marked in the center of the bottom. When you buy these, be sure you always buy a marker because Imperial did knock these off. A little bit different shape, $45. Lariat, vase, we have the loops going up the side. Unusual about this, it's square on top. You'll find those where square, round, and oval. Square one, I think, is the hardest one to find. Anyway, nice little vase. Buy it, use it. It's only $20 or $10 after discount. A usable piece. Here we have a Tudor plate. 
I believe it's 14 inches across and look at that decoration on it. Gold, black, little enamel flowers they put all over. They've really dressed this piece up. Heise did not put the decoration on this. This was sold to another company, a decorating company. They put the decoration on it. They probably put their label right over the Heise mark and they sold it as theirs. Anyway, nice looking piece, $35. Victorian, creamer and sugar, no damage, good shape, handles in real good shape. Pair, $25. We have a nice little floral bowl. I think it's called Edna or something, I don't know. Nice little bowl, no diamond optic. F flamingo, perfectly plain on the inside, marked in the middle bottom. $18 before the discount. And hey, we've got another piece coming up. It's going to be a Wabash Goblet. It's in a flamingo. It's $35. Look here, folks, you could put those together. You could have, make an Epern set out of it. Wouldn't that be beautiful on your table? Just let us know if you want both pieces and they're gonna be yours. Have a couple cordials. Here we have a peerless cordial, a round foot marked on the bottom, one ounce size, $15. Another colonial cordial, I didn't look it up, marked on the bottom, six sided on the bottom. There we go, same price, $15. Orchid etched, Waverly vase. This is a press design. The Waverly pattern goes around it. Orchid, of course, is on it. Nice little piece, $65. Orchid Etch, 14 inch platter. Has a little bit of wear to it, $16. Or after the discount, $8, nice usable piece. Remember folks, if you buy this, if we're gonna ship it to you, you better cal calculate about what the shipping's gonna cost to ship that to you. It's probably gonna be more than what the plate is. Last piece of Orchid today, or I think it's the last piece. Here we have an oval, Comport, Waverly. This is not a dolphin, that's actually a wave going up the bottom. When you see the big center handle sandwich trays, people call that a dolphin handle in the middle. That is not a dolphin, it's a wave. You can see it, there's no dolphin there. Anyway, this piece is $45 for the discount. Empress, some people say it looks like Queen Anne. Run your hand on the inside. If you feel undentations, and I do feel a little undentation of this, maybe Queen Anne. Anyway, it has old colony etching. Everything's in good shape, except the handle, folks. This is what you always want to check. If that handle gets banged hard in that direction, you will get a fracture, and there is a fracture in there. Some people say that's an annealing fracture. To me, doesn't matter. Fracture is a fracture, no matter how it happened. Hurley hurts the price. $25 for a beautiful piece there because of the fracture. I put another piece right next to it. Serps are the same way. This is a 12 ounce syrup. It's not a McGrady. McGrady has a squared off handle. A little bit of fracture right there in the handle. It's been bumped. It's $10. The lid's worth that if you need that for another syrup. Let's go all the way to the other end of the table. Have a Whirlpool. It looks like a sweet pea vase. Isn't that a nice looking little vase? Nice flared out at the top. Marked in the center of the bottom. Very faintly, but it's there. It's $30. Next, we have a rooster stem cocktail glass. These are everywhere, but they're $25 anymore. Narrow flute, I think with rim, cruet, original stopper, perfectly clean on the inside, no damage whatsoever, $35. I'll show you again, here's that Wabash goblet, flamingo, all flamingo, $35. Like I said, it'd go nice with that bowl, making the perm set out of it. Octagon, candle holder, single light, flamingo. If you look close on these, right up and through there, there's a diamond H on the inside, you can see it, or underneath you can see it. Be real careful. Fostori made one that looks almost identical to that. It's a little bit bigger. The Heise one's about always marked $15. Only have one available. Here's a little cereal bowl. It's got a really thick optic in it. You can feel on it. Anyway, $10. Good shape. Pickle dish, coarse rib, nice ground bottom on it. $15, this one has a star bottom, sometimes they're plain bottom. Here we have two of these Priscilla oval little bowls. These are beautiful, folks, and look at that diamond. Look at that, what they've cut in the bottom. They've actually rays they've cut in the bottom. Would that look nice in your bathroom? Put a piece of soap on it for guests that come over. We have two of these available. They're both $15 for the pair. That's $7 and a half for two of them. Look lovely in your bathroom. Here we have a softer foot candle holder. I don't know what the number of it is. Anyway, it's marked right there in the middle of the bottom. Cute little stick, $15. Fern, handle, little cheese dish. And it has, I don't know what that etching is. I'm not very good on those etchings. It's either Belle La Rose or it's Rosalie or something like that. Turned up handle, $20. Prison stripe, butter dish, and cover. Top's in really good shape. The bottom's seen better days. It has one of these little teeth, has a nick on it. There's a little nick on the base. Therefore, we have an excellent price on this. It's $30, that's $15 after this discount. If you want one of these, it's in mint condition, mint condition, we've got one in the shop and you can have it for $110. This one as is, it's gonna cost you 15. Carcassonne, footed, iced tea, old colony etch, Sahara, 
wide optic bowl on it, $25, only one available. Greek key, saucer champagne, marked on the stem. You know, Greek key stem, where it's awful hard to find anymore. And anyway, I think we have eight of these available, $25 a piece. Of course, you're gonna get it for just half that. Puritan ice bucket, very good condition. No scarred up on the bottom, and it's $35. Here we have a nice little pickle dish. Sometimes you just have to buy something you can use. It's got $6, real good condition. Nice ground bottom on it, star on the bottom. Individual creamer and sugar with an uh, Ridgely. Hey, you see these all the time in cobalt blue, you say, are they hydra? No, they're not hydra, neither are they. Look at the top of that. See how it curves? When you see one that's flat on top, you know right off, it's not hyzy. Don't even think about buying it, even though it's cobalt blue or amethyst. The hyzy ones are always curved. They're always marked with the diamond dates. $15 for the creamer, the sugar, and the tray. Crystallite, handle jelly dish. So what you say? Well, look at here, folks. That's what that's got what they call the spider web bottom in it. See there? It looks like a spider web. Nice ground bottom. Up. Most of the time they're most of the time they're clister. That's got a spider web bottom. Sometimes they're marked, sometimes they aren't. We guarantee it's high. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Can you go wrong? Here we have a Queen Anne, two-handled, pig foot, little jelly dish. Twenty dollars. Good condition. Waverly, cup and saucer. Rosettes, just like brand new condition. We have six of these available, $25 per set. Waverly, three-part relish, rose etching on it. Real good condition, $25 again. Rose etch, seven-inch plates. The box says there's 13 of them. Anyway, that's from the box. There's a plastic container that says there's 13 of them in there. Anyway, we'll guarantee there's at least 10. If you want 13, we'll try to dig them out for you. $8 a piece. Those plates are just like new. Have a couple candle holders. We have a Pluto candle holder. Uh, you see them with little rings around here. They're called Mars. This one's Pluto. Has an odd shape to the top of one of these available. Moongleam, 20 bucks. Swirl candle holder, Moongleam. Nice candle holder, 20 bucks. Octagon, two-handle nut cup. And Flamingo, hey, look here, folks. Got a nice little cutting on this one. Usually uh, the colored ones are playing. $22.50. I said this is a six-part relish. My daughter, uh, she corrected me. It's really a seven-part relish. And it's Empress. You don't see this piece very often at all. 50 bucks, good condition, marked in the center. Find one in Moon Gleam, and I'll buy it off of you. Here's an Octagon, two-handle nut cup. Nice-looking Moon Gleam, $10. Cereal Bowl, Sahara. Empress. Lost much more than it thought there for a second. $10. Here we have a dolphin foot, a little crystal nut cup. Nice little cutting on it. All the feet are in real good shape. And the price on it is $25. Crystallite. Two handle, two, I'm sorry, single handle, two part conserve. That little handle looks just like one of those little single candle holders, except it's not as big, but generally the same shape. Two part on the bottom of this one. It has roughness here on the bottom. How that gets there, I don't know. Sometimes you'll see these and this part's been cut off. They put a metal handle on it, and you'll see a little cutting going around the outside, and you'll see the little diamond H's are marked out. If you turn it upside down, look right there, usually you'll find a Hawks signature. Hawks was a company that bought Heise blanks at times, decorated them, sold them as their own. Here we have a little uh, wine glass. does have Windsor cutting on it. It's $25. This one's in good shape. If you buy this one, we'll give you the one with a couple little chips on the bottom of it. Gayoso Goblet. This etching is either Monticello or it's Salem. The only difference in between Monticello and Salem is, see this little rectangular portion right here? Well, this one's got it, and the other one doesn't. And I don't know if this is Monticello or Salem, either one. Anyway, this one, I think the top's been ground on there a little bit. We're telling you right off the top, we don't want anybody to get cheated. It's $8. Coarse rib, hotel cover sugar bowl haven't seen this one for a while fifteen dollars marked in the center of the bottom all in good shape crystal light short stem flower vase people say that's a woman's spittoon my saying is women don't spit so it's not it's twenty two dollars and fifty cents wing scroll custard syrup little dripper the little handles marching off of there a little bit of gold gone it does have a fracture you want to watch it folks when they've got handles they get bumped Look really close. If you think you see a fracture in there, could be a mold mark. This one's definitely a fracture. We're telling you right up front, it's $45. Here's a cute little piece. It looks like it's a four inch nappy and a fancy loop. Has really nice little gold on it. I couldn't find a thing wrong with it anywhere. $12.50. Plantation celery dish with plantation ivy marked in the center of the bottom, $25. 
you have uh, old Williamsburg for the jello. We had a bunch of these. We we're selling one at a time, it seems like. Nice little wheel cutting on that. Look at there, folks. And when they cut that, they left that cutting gray. Really stands out on it. Marked in the center of the bottom. I can feel the mark in there, and it's $18. I think the last piece we have, we have originally, I think this is a celery and an olive. I think you put the celery or the pickles here and the olive here. Does have a couple little rough places on the corner. Anyway, nice little piece. You can use it. You can serve with it. $15. That concludes our video for this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. We'll see you again next week for another edition of Half Price Thursday.